Hi, this is Dave Cross for Creative Pro, and this is a sneak peek of my upcoming session called Level Up Your Photoshop Layers at the upcoming Creative Pro Week happening in Washington, D.C. and online July 8th to the 12th. And needless to say, with a class like that, I'm going to be talking about layers, not just some of the new features, but things that have been around for a while, but very underutilized, like this one called layer comps. And in this example, I'm trying to come up with some ideas for maybe a layout for an ad or something. So you see, I have a whole bunch of layers here. I probably created more than I want, but I want to be able to generate lots of ideas and go back to them and compare and things like that, either for myself or for a client. And I can do that rather than always manually turning layers on and off and moving things around each time by using a function called layer comps. So if I go to the window menu, you can see layer comps there. I already have mine right here in my panel. And at first it doesn't really look like much because, well, nothing's happened yet. But what I want to do is in effect record the look of my document at any given time. And you do that by clicking this button. It's going to ask you to create a new layer comp. So I'm going to call this one all layers even though technically it's not all my layers, but just to give you an example, you can see it's applying the visibility, position, and appearance. And that means that's what's going to record inside the layer comp is what layers are visible, where they're positioned, and their appearance. Now, when it says layer style, that also means things like opacity, blend modes, blend if sliders, masks, uh, opacity, all that kind of stuff. And I'm just going to click OK to that. And then let give myself another option. So let's say, for example, I want to have one where I don't have this background down here. And I'd also like my subject to be a little see-through. So I'm going to make a second comp called New Background. And you're going to call it whatever you want, of course. The only thing I would suggest is you don't call them like layer comp one, layer comp two, layer comp three, because of course that's not going to help you much later on. You can also, by the way, leave comments for yourself, like this layer was hidden, this layer was changed the opacity and so on. So that would be my second comp. And then the third one, I'm deciding I want what I've got so far, but I'm thinking I want my logo to be up here and maybe a different color. So I already have an adjustment layer for that, so I can turn that on. And as you can imagine, you can do whatever you want. Let's just do that one, so we'll call it Moved Logo Less Insects. I'm too lazy to write butterflies. <laughs> and then let's do one last one. We're going to add some texture on here. I have a mask on that texture, but I'm thinking I want to hide that mask by shift-clicking on it. And I'd also like my wine bottle to be above everything and call that something that I make sense to me. Now, when you have these multiple layer comps, they're saved inside your document. So now if you want to look at the different options, you simply click beside the name and you'll see it does all of this for you. It turns layers on and off. It moves layers. It changes opacity, whatever you've recorded in your layer comps. And the best part of all is they're just built in. If you save this as your PSD file that you're going to save anyway with all your layers, it's remembered within that document. So you can either use this for your own purpose to try some creative experimentation or to share it with your client. Either way, it's a great way to manage multiple layers inside one document instead of creating multiple versions of the same document. If you enjoyed this short tip, I'll be talking more about this and many other layer functions in my class. Level up your Photoshop layers at Creative Pro Week, July 8th to the 12th. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.